everyone and welcome back in this video i'm going to be demonstrating something that i had to do in my class my students were tasked with drawing this isometric object that you see here and what i'm going to be doing in the video is just showing how you can do the isometric curve for the front of the object i will also be sure to link the previous videos I did on isometrics below. So as usual, we begin with our isometric box, as you can see here. And the difference with this isometric curve or circle and the previous ones I did is that this one is laying as if it were on a table whereas the others were standing on edge all right i'm using the iso draft command and i'm in the iso plane top configuration all right the steps are the same this is the approximate method that we would have done before so you identify you have your midpoints your center lines your diagonal lines and now I'm putting in these two additional lines that will give us the center points for the arcs that we are going to draw. So I'm using the arc command here and this is our first center point. I didn't go ahead to label the points and all that because I did it in a previous video before and it says linked below or it will be linked below rather but yeah you can follow along either way all right so we are almost finished and this is our last arc and you can already see we have our circle here now i don't want the entire circle highlighted it's just the outer section so i'm going to change the layer as you can see here and now i'm going to add the depth so i selected these two arcs on the right side i think you could see so I'm adding the depth to the object and I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the excess just for presentation sake. Ideally you should leave, ideally you should leave your, your construction lines, all construction lines, right? In this instance, I'm just going to delete it All right let me just fix that i'm just going to delete it just for the sake of presentation all right but that's it this is our isometric curve this is the front of the object that you saw at the beginning of the video if you learned anything please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already